Greeting viewers, welcome. Today's poem is Carpo, Kasparo and their first meet. This is a poem about the first time Anatoly Carpo and Gary Kasparo played a chess game. To give a very brief introduction about players, Gary Kasparo, he is widely acclaimed as one of the greatest players to have ever played the game. He was so dominant that he was a world number one for a span of 20 years, showing how dominant he was. Now to talk about Anatoly Karpo. Anatoly Karpo was a world champion from 1975 to 1985 and he also became a world champion later again once more FIDE world champion in 1993. But to give an idea about his domination, he finished in the first place, either first place or joint first place on 160 occasions. 160 tournaments is either first place or joint first place, showing how dominant he was. To talk about these two giants games and their world championship encounters they have contested in world championship matches in five occasions and all the time gary kasparo has won it this may give an impression that kasparo was just cruising along now it's not necessarily that gary kasparo has won 21 games and anatoly karpo has won 19 games out of 144 games that they have contested in world championship matches 21 to kasparo 19 to Anatoly Karpo and all the rest of the games have ended in a draw showing that it was equally contested but when it actually mattered the most Gary Kasparov was able to up his game and win the game and hence the matches. Uh, to talk about the roots of the players both of them hailed from Botvinnik chess school. Botvinnik was world champion uh, as well sixth world champion. He had uh, a chess school and through it there were a lot of pupils who went on to achieve great accolades in chess. Anatoly Karpo was from Botvinnik chess school, Gary Kasparov was from Botvinnik chess school and the next world champion after Gary Kasparov Vladimir Kramnik was also from Botvinnik chess school. What is interesting about uh, the Botvinnik chess school um, with respect to Karpo and Kasparov is that even though it's a common element the impressions that these both students had on the teacher Mikhail Botvinnik. Karpo had uh, uh, just joined uh, Botvinnik chess school and Botvinnik was training and after uh, uh, some duration Botvinnik made a very interesting statement on Karpo. He said that the boy doesn't have any clue about the game. He doesn't have any future in chess and Karpo did prove it wrong. He did have a future in chess. He went on to become one of the greats. Now what was the impression of Kasparov on Botvinnik? Botvinnik was really impressed by Gary Kasparov. He said after very few, uh, a few encounters, after few months of practice, training, he said in the hands of this young man lies the future of chess. That's how much impressed he was by Kasparov and that's how much he knew that Kasparov was a world championship material. Uh, so this poem is about their, these giants first encounter. When they first met, it was in 1975. Kasparov was just a 12 year old boy and Anatoly Karpo was already a world champion at that time. He was 24 years old. He was a world champion at the peak of his prowess. And it was in a simultaneous display that they met. It was not an actual tournament. It was in a simultaneous display that they met and Kasparov played really well. He exerted pressure on Karpo and he had a good position, but he was unable to convert the advantage into a win probably was overwhelmed by the fact that he was playing a world champion. Let us get into the poem, understand how their first meeting, first chess game went. The Botvinnik school was the common element for the giants who took upon chess assignments, fondly remembered as the mighty case were bestowed with Kaisa's grace. Botvinnik made a statement on Karpo, which he might have made in the flow stating that Karpo never had a clue about the game, implying that he will be stranger to fame. The opinion of Potwini changed in the coming years, fully realizing Karpo's chess fears, remarked, a good family and serious boy, which might have brought Karpo some joy. Kasparo made a different impression on Botwinik. Their chess relationship was an instant click. The chess master praised the young talent offering suggestions that would make him excellent. The very first encounter was in a simultaneous display where the young Kasparov was scheduled to play the mighty Karpo who was the king 
fading to methodically insisting. The young Kasparov was the last player to remain in the simul. His play almost a strangle. Karpo had an inferior position. The young lad had exerted his expression. The photographer swarmed the board with excitement, assuming that Karpo was on the verge of disappointment. The day, however, did not belong to Kasparov. Karpo was able to scarcely come through. This was the first game where Gary used his beloved Nadoff. These giants would later meet for more than a century of games, igniting sparks that would slowly become flames. More than 600 hours they would battle in the future in the beloved World Championship pastures. The full poem is in the description. Do let me know what you feel about it through your comments and suggestions. Thanks for your time.